Grade 6 Math, number 12.1b. More practice finding perimeters. The perimeter of a closed shape is the distance around it. When we total the lengths of all of its sides, we get the perimeter. It's like the fence around a yard. To solve inequalities, we use the inverse operation of the one being used in the equation. The opposite operation. Take a look at this one. We've got all the measures except one side. All we've got is n minus 5. Well, if it tells us that the entire perimeter is 52, if p is equal to 52, then what we do is we add the 12, the 14, and the 8, and we get 34. And we know that the perimeter is 52, right? So we, now we can write our inequality and solve for this n. We write 52 is equal to 34 plus the n minus 5. See? So now we're going to use the inverse operation to slowly solve for the n and to get the n by itself. So the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So because this is a positive 34, we're going to subtract 34 from each side of the equal sign. See? Inequality is for the, each side of the equal sign. 52 minus 34 is 18. And now, because we did minus 32 to the plus 32, we made zero pairs, and these are gone. And now all we've got is 18 is equal to the n minus 5. Well, the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So we're going to add 5 and add 5 to each side of the equal sign. 18 plus 5 is 23. And now, because plus 5 and minus 5 make zero pairs, we've got 23 is equal to n. See? The inverse operation and making zero pairs, OK? For this concave hexagon, yep, that's a hexagon. It's just a concave one because it's punched inward. We know the perimeter is 44, and we've got all of these measures, and we've got n plus 3 for one side. So what we do is we total up all the measures we do know, the 6, the 5, the 6, the 8, and the 7 around this side, and we write our inequality. 44 is equal to 32 plus the n plus 3. So we're going to use our inverse operation because this is a plus 32, a positive 32. We're going to subtract 32 and subtract 32 from each side of the equal sign. 44 minus 32 is 12. This plus 32 and minus 32 made zero pairs, which got rid of it. And now we've got 12. 12 is equal to n plus 3. We're going to use the inverse again. Because this is a plus 3, we're going to use a minus 3 on each side of the equal sign. See, the 12 gets jealous if only he gets a minus 3. So now we've got 12 minus 3 is 9, and the plus 3 and the minus 3 made 0 pairs that canceled each other out, and now we have 9 is equal to n. See? And we need to plug these in. If n is equal to 9, we're still not finished, are we? This is 9 plus 3. That means the side is equal to 12, isn't it? See? And even on this one, if 23 is n... 23 is what n equals, so it's 23 minus 5, see? So this side is equal to 18, see? So we still needed to finish it. We still need to figure out what the side is, see? For rectangles, we can use the formula p is equal to 2w plus 2l. That means the perimeter is equal to 2 times the width plus 2 times the length. Well, if the perimeter is 102 feet, and we've got a width of 21 and a length of n minus 5, our inequality is going to read 102 feet is equal to 2 times 21 plus 2 times the n minus 5. 2 times 21 is 42, and because it's a positive 2 times 21, we're going to subtract 42 from each side of the equal sign. 102 minus 42 is 60. And now, because this made zero pairs, these are gone. And that they canceled each other out. And that's going to leave 60 is equal to the, to the 2 times n minus 5. Well, this is distributive property. This means 2 times n minus 2 times 5. So we can open that up that way. 2 times n minus 2 times 5. And we can use the inverse operation. Because this is subtracting 2 times 5, we know that that's 10. We can add 10 to get rid of this side of the equation. And this side of the equal sign gets jealous. He wants to be added to 10. So now we've got 70. 60 plus 10 is 70. Minus, and then these made zero pairs and canceled each other out. 
we've got 70 is equal to 2n. Now because this 2n means 2 times n, the inverse of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 and get the n by itself. 70 divided by 2 is 35, and the 2 divided by 2 is now just the n. 35 is equal to n. So if we plug that in here, 35 is what n is equal to. This side is 35 minus 5. This side is 30. See? Let's try one last one with this triangle. We know that this side is 12 centimeters, this side is 19 centimeters, and this is n minus 3 centimeters. Well, if the entire perimeter is 53 centimeters, we're going to write our inequality as 53 centimeters is equal to the 12 plus the 19 plus the n minus 3. Well, we add these two together to condense them and get 31 centimeters. So now we can rewrite our inequality as 53 is equal to 31 centimeters plus n minus 3 centimeters, right? So because this is positive 31 centimeters, we're going to use the inverse property of addition is subtraction. We're going to subtract 31 from each side of the equal sign. 53 minus 31 is 22. This made zero pairs, the plus 31 and minus 31, so they're gone. It canceled out. And now we've got 22 is equal to n minus 3. The inverse property for subtraction is addition. So because of subtraction, we're going to add to get rid of it. On each side of the equal sign, 22 plus 3 is 25. And now this is canceled out because they made zero pairs, and we've got 25 is equal to n. Well, if 25 is equal to n, that means 25 minus 3 is what this size is. 25 minus 3 is 22. So this side is 22 centimeters. See? I hope you understood that. I hope that wasn't too hard. I think I'm starting to lose my voice. It's starting to sound a little raspy, but uh, I hope I'm helping, and I hope you understood what's going on here. It's just a little extra video for those who need a little extra help. Okay? I'll see you in 12.2. Bye.